Fusion is really cool. Make your own discoveries. It's going to be very fun. And I haven't even talked about templates. There is a predictable pattern that I've seen people go through from when they first hear about DaVinci Resolve through when they really get into and figure out what's up with it. I think it's a little less common now than it was a year or two ago, but it's definitely still floating around out there. Here's what happens. Someone hears about Resolve and thinks, oh yeah, that's that really nice color grading software I've heard about. But over time, they start to realize that while Resolve started as a color grading program, a program that was tied to proprietary hardware that used to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, by the way, although that is a talk for another time. The DaVinci Resolve we have today has grown so far beyond where it started as exclusively a color grading tool. It is now a self-contained suite of tools that cover the entire process from media management, video editing, color correction and grading, audio editing, and the Fusion page. And when it comes to the Fusion page, I see something happening that is very similar to what happens with Resolve as a whole. People see the Fusion page and think, oh, that's for special effects and compositing, and then they move right along. But there is so much more to Fusion that people just aren't seeing. Even me, when I got started in Resolve, my first thought about Fusion was, Oh, I can see how working with nodes could be really great for compositing, but I don't really know if it has the tools to do all of the motion graphics and animation that I want to do. I was wrong. Fusion can do so many different things that it's kind of hard to sum it all up in one nice succinct description. But I'm getting kind of tired of talking anyway, so instead of just telling you all the wild things I've been able to do in the Fusion page over the last several months, I'll show you all of this in the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. So I think I've done some pretty interesting things. And Fusion is such an intensive program that I've been able to fall down several different rabbit holes exploring just what it has to offer. I got super into particles, and then I started getting super into just the broader 3D workspace and 3D tools inside Fusion. Here is the point I'm trying to make with this video. Fusion is really cool. <laughs> and when you like something and think it's really cool, you want to talk about it with other people that think it's cool. So dive into the Fusion page. There's so much in there for you to learn, for you to explore, for you to add to the broader community that's exploring and building things in this software. And then find me on Twitter and talk about it. I've learned so much from other people that are doing exactly what I'm doing, diving deeper into Fusion. This community is still so new that there is so much opportunity for you to honestly make your own discovery of unique ways tools could work together to produce something amazing. And I haven't even talked about templates. Anything you create in the Fusion page can be turned into a drag and drop template on the edit page. You could make custom lower thirds or transitions or graphics or even whole effects, design an effect in the Fusion page, and then you can just drag that onto any clip in the edit page and it will just work. This space is absolutely going to blow up over the next year or two, and it's going to be very fun, so you should get involved. I feel like so many people are discovering Resolve as a whole and, and learning all that goes into the rest of the software that Fusion just seems a little too intimidating for a lot of people. But that's in large part what I wanna do on this channel. I have my intro to Fusion I'm really proud of. If you wanna get started, that's where I would suggest you look. But other than that, just dive in. Working with nodes isn't as intimidating as it looks. And in fact, I think working in nodes makes it easier for beginners. Pull in one of the included templates and you can walk through step by step how any specific effect was built. The same goes for any of my presets or effects that I've given away. Download those, drag them into your program, and you can see the node tree I built in Fusion to create that. And you can create something like it yourself. This is very exciting. I'm gonna keep talking about it. But I did think this merited its own video just because I want to get anyone's attention with it. So if you're interested in any of this at all, try out the Fusion page. You can create cool things and you can add to a pretty incredible community as well. But that's all I've got to say. Again, if you want any more information on Fusion, 
I've created a handful of tutorials creating some pretty cool things like what you saw earlier in the video, so check those out and subscribe if you want to be sure you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks, I'll see you next time.